Pirates Bites. For most of us, the word pirate conjures up Hollywood images of larger-than-life characters like Blackbeard and the golden age of piracy. But piracy still thrives today, and it's nothing like what you've seen in the movies. In today's Science Bite, museum scientist Mark Levine takes an anthropological look and considers how social and political issues have driven piracy throughout history. As an anthropologist, I'm interested in people and cultures from different places and throughout human history. Today, we're going to take an anthropological approach to pirates, comparing piracy of the Golden Age in the early 1700s with that of today in the waters off the coast of East Africa. At first blush, there are lots of similarities between pirates of the Golden Age and modern era. In Somalia, political turmoil since the early 1990s has led to crushing poverty. As a result, some have found the allure and huge payoffs of piracy too good to pass up. Many Somali pirates, who were formerly fishermen, claim that their waters have been illegally overfished by foreigners. Some even claim that other nations have dumped toxic wastes in their seas. When we take a closer look, we find that there are actually more differences than similarities between pirates of the Golden Age and those of the modern era. For instance, today's pirates are primarily land-based, whereas pirates of the Golden Age were highly nomadic sea bandits. Their tactics differ too. Golden Age pirates were after booty. Gold, silver, sugar, coffee, tobacco, anything of value. Today's pirates are after hostages and cargo for ransom. Huge ransom. Golden Age pirates rejected their nations of origin. In many cases, they tried to create new societies that were more equal and democratic. But Somali pirates don't reject their nation or their culture. They're just in it for the money. Pirate organization has come a long way over the last 300 years. Ragtag bands of pirates in the 1700s have evolved into gangs with financiers, scouts, armed sea jackers and negotiators, all guided by the latest in high-tech tools. Piracy really lends itself to cross-cultural comparison because it's occurred for thousands of years and on nearly every continent. Yet comparisons provide only a starting point. To really understand modern piracy, we need to carry out more detailed studies of economic, political, and cultural dynamics both at sea and on land. DMNS, 